Hello, Gold viewers. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC and Public Relations Manager and MC for the Gold Lactation Online Conference 2015. Well, welcome to my interview with Dr. Wendy Middlemas. Welcome, Wendy. It's great to have you with us today. Thank you, Fiona. It's great to be here. And I'm so excited, Wendy. It's, uh, you know, this is a passion of mine, and I know it is of yours. So here we are sharing this passion today. Of course, you're the one with all the goods, so I get to sit back and, and listen to all of this. And I know our delegates are really uh, so excited that uh, we've been able to put all this infant sleep uh, information together. So I'm just going to let everybody know that Wendy's uh, title of her presentation is Understanding Infant Sleep, Translating Research to Supportive Approaches to sleeping, feedings, and well-being. Um, so, I mean, that is that's a that's a lot of work just right there, Wendy. I mean, I know that you do all this all this research, and then you know, putting it into translation. That's that's amazing. So, we're very grateful uh, to have you know you here and uh, presenting this for us. So, I have a few questions for you, and I want to jump right in so that we can share this with our audience that's listening. Listening. So, first up, I really want to know why did you want to look at infant sleep, and how did you get involved in the research? Well, uh, it's, it's really very simple. Um, my study of infant sleep began when my son was born. Uh, so I always know how long I've done it because I just need to remember how old uh, Dewey is and, and then I'm, I'm all set. When I, when I had Dewey, I had very clear ideas about how, uh, you know, how sleep would go and how we would care for him. Um, but then when I came home with my little son, I thought there, there are, must be things that I don't know. So I started to read the infant sleep research. And much of the research suggested things that weren't developmentally uh, sound uh, in regard to developmental theories and, and just seemed a bit of a question. So I started, uh, I just started to look at it in depth as a professional area um, and went from there. So some personal experience that really led you uh, to sort of open up those floodgates, right, of research and delve right in. That's wonderful. Um, I'm really curious to know, since you have this experience and over the years, but I'm curious to know, have you seen changes uh, in the research over the years? I think that there, that there have been a good deal of, there has been a good deal of change in regard to the research. A lot of it has been in regard to focus. Many people are, are beginning to look at infant sleep research. Many people are beginning to look at sleep as a whole. The interest in looking at development in regard to the uh, biophysiology of care in the early years of life all mm -hmm. have um, kind of come to a, a, a point and there's much more activity in this area than there had been before. So we're getting many more uh, different ideas. Uh, although I, I think that there are still things that, that are well worth exploring. Absolutely. And, you know, I sit here with a big smile on my face. I know you can't see me, but, uh, you know, I, I mean, I know some of these answers only because I've been watching you and others in the field, um, you know, really delving so much deeper into this. And, it, and it's been wonderful because I'm, you know, I'm hungry like a lot of practitioners. We want more information. We come up against some conflicts, you know, in our, in our personal lives, our areas, you know, our work. So, you know, this is so important for, you know, as, and of course for the families that we work with. So, you know, I couldn't be happier that um, you're still here, you're still doing it, and, um, you know, you, you're hungry for more, you know, and that's great as well. So, you know, moving into more about your topic, um, you know, I'm very, I'm very grateful, you know, I sit here humbled by the fact that, you know, translation of research is something that you're doing and it's so important because we, we need that in order to, you know, feed into our families. So I want to know, you know, the translation of research is important, but what has been the most important aspect um, for you in this? For me, there, there are two things, really. We, we begin to learn a lot of, as researchers, when we study different topic areas, and sharing that information really is one of the things that, that makes it most important. To have answers in scientific publications or to have information in scientific publications is, is very good as uh, informing research and informing next steps, but 
most of what we do is very important for practitioners and for parents to understand. The second part, though, for me, may be even more important. And that is that we have an obligation when we share information with parents to share with them information that they can use within their own family setting. No information, many, what the outcome of much research is to provide uh, programs that are interventions that have steps and directions and very uh, near to mandates about how it is that you should go about raising your children. None of us really function within those uh, within those frameworks, and so mm -hmm. taking what we know in the research and providing the underlying mechanisms of what makes something safe or what makes something best means that you're giving the parent the tools to be able, or the practitioner the tools to be able to talk to the parents, and the parents the tools to be able to construct their own settings for their babies in a way that is. Um, it's, it's just nurturing. Well, that is that is wonderful too. I you know I can't. It's so good when you have these tools um, instead of just you know going back to the research, not being able to translate it yourself. Because a lot of us don't work in research; it's not our thing. But you know, knowing it's it's kind of like we review it, but then how do we translate it? So it's really at a point where you know those young families who are in sometimes in that honeymoon phase or trying to achieve that, you know, all of a sudden their world is, you know, turned upside down because the, you know, we, you know that in, in the world of mothers that sleep is the big talk, you know, it, it really is one of the biggest talks that we hear about. And so having the tools to be able to provide to them so that it can, again can suit their family's needs is so valuable. So I really appreciate you. I'm excited. Uh, I'm going to be listening to your talk really soon. So thank you again, Wendy, for sitting down with us today and uh, just giving us a little bit of a sneak peek of what's going to be coming up at the Gold Conference. And to our Gold listeners, thank you again for listening in, and we'll look forward to seeing you again all soon. Thanks again, Wendy. Bye-bye.